Hello gamers. I hope everyone is doing great. Today is Sunday. It's 4th of October and we are back with another weekly digest for blockchain gaming. So without further ado, let's begin. So this is our weekly. Um, you should know that all once the new website comes out we will also share the weekly with our newsletter subscribers we haven't shared the newsletter for a long period of time so uh, let's have a quick look at the most playable blockchain games shall we Sp splinterlands is first 7083 users upland is second upland is growing 7077k okay lightbringer is third Galaxy Blocks and Math War on the Thundercore blockchain. The problem is, you see games like Galaxy Block and Math War, Galaxy Block is basically Tetris. Uh, you see games like this um, in the top 5 because the Ethereum right now, the Ethereum network is uh, congested with all the gas fees and all that stuff. I mean, pff, the games are not playable. Okay, so for our main story, we have the Six Dragons. Is Six Dragons going to be the first blockchain game for PlayStation 5? Now, I know Sony, as well as Microsoft for Xbox, haven't uh, really announced their policy when it comes to blockchain gaming and blockchain technology in general. So it's going to be a race. It's going to be difficult to get inside uh, PlayStation 5 but all we can do is hope, right? I mean, the company, Block Pegnio, behind the Six Dragons, which is a classic RPG on the engine platform, uh, is an official PlayStation partner now. So I reached out to Savas Lazopoulos, the CEO of uh, Block Pegnio, and I asked him, like, why are you doing this? Are we going to see uh, Six Dragons on PS5? And he says that, well, yeah, that's the goal. That's what we are trying to do here. So, yeah, the Six Dragons will come to PlayStation 5 eventually. Now, is it, is it going to be the next year? Is it going to be 2022? I don't know. It will take time for sure. Now, let's move. Games from the Blog Podcast. I take pride for this podcast. I've been experimenting for almost two months on how I should do that podcast and uh, I'm very happy with the result this is with Sebastian Bojet president of the blockchain game alliance and COO of Pixel the company behind um, the sandbox game we had a great great chat for about 40 minutes and you can find the transcript here you can you can read basically the interview on the eGamers website we have it all here so uh, at, a, at a point i said to to sebastian that if we were in the middle ages you will be the majesty and sebastian said well i will be robin hood and well here's a robin hood guys <laughs> very funny Okay, so let's move with NBA Top Shot. Guys, the beta is out. NBA Top Shot. NBA on the blockchain? Well, that's crazy. Here's the website of the Top Shot. You can see here it's beta basically. Um, what you're doing here is purchasing packs. The packs contain videos, moments from uh, NBA. And basically you collect them and... Uh, complete collections uh, that's like it sound a game to you to me it sounds more like a gamified experience for the record I got a pack and let's open it hometown showdown Cali vs New York I don't know what's this I only know the Dokubo one eternity later what opened okay this is the first nice shot oh gonna use from different angles 
Bertrand. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, how much does this cost? Is there a price here? If I click place for sale, enter price in USD. There's a serial number, there's a circulating count. This is the circulating supply, I guess. The number of collectibles aren't limiting. Okay, so 2,243 others have this moment. Let's move to the next one. December 12, 2019. Boston. Okay. Well, my experience with NBA is uh, NBA Live 2014 in PlayStation 1. I love that game. But I'm more like a football fan. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so three points, right? Oh, this actually has a low serial number and a low circulating supply. Um, can set it as a gift, right? We can place it for sale. Let's have a look. Um, Kevin Herter. Home down, shown die, this Kali. If I go to the marketplace, let's see what with Kevin Hart. Oh, there are a few moments here. Four bucks. Kali, New York, maybe this is the one. Yeah, that's, that's the one. So the lowest price is four bucks and the highest is 580. Five, 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 eight, nine, four. This guy is ruining the market. Okay. Uh, I don't think this is any fancy moment, right? This is just a three point shoot or no. Anyway, let's move to the weekly. F1 Delta Time and Rev Event. Stake and compete for Rev Rewards in the Elite League event by F1 Delta Time. Let's see what is going on here. The Elite League is a time trial that is an exciting 14-day racing special event that gives you the opportunity to stake Rev in exchange for a guaranteed Rev reward. Okay. 50,000. Hmm. Well, if you guys like Formula 1, you should check this out, right? And if you have some Rev tokens, Stake them. Why not? Staking is always good. Splinterlands token deck is now on Uniswap. Oh, another fork. Oh, hi. Okay, I don't like forks. Only when it comes to free money. 3,000 land plots from the upcoming splitter and land sale have been set aside as a reward for the Uniswap deck liquidity providers. 60,000 of worth retail price. Okay, so basically it looks like that um, everyone is riding the land train. I mean, you see all the games uh, issuing land. Uh, we've seen the same with uh, blockchain cuties, now with Splinterlands. Um, with the newest game of the gala ecosystem everyone is doing london right now no not only the virtual worlds so basically what you can do here is a uh, deposit deck on uniswap and get a reward well because it's on uniswap i'm not sure how much money you have to put in to actually get the reward okay sandbox partners with harmony protocol okay another uh, partnership from the sandbox we are used to it every week they do partner with someone else uh, in the majority of them they are good partnerships like i mean they brought on board, uh, on board care bears uh, atari square square enix and uh, very other big, big names in the 
entertainment system. So this partnership promises to yield great results as both parties have a lot to bring to the table. Okay. Integration with Harmony Protocol will help to facilitate the process of purchasing, storing and selling the NFTs within and outside the sandbox ecosystem. Harmony is looking to become one of the first proof-of-stake lawyer one blockchains that will allow for high-speed trading of the NFTs inside its ecosystem. Okay, so basically the sandbox is going to Harmony. I mean, uh, in the previous podcast with uh, Sebastian Boget, which you can listen to it on, on Spotify. I mean, he's the one to the games from the blog. Uh, he said that they were looking into, into a solution because of the Ethereum gas fees. So basically, the sandbox needs to be on a side chain or something. Okay, let's see if that's fine. The first batch of Atari VCS is on the way, Costa says here. Okay, so the first batch, these are the, uh, the screens. <laughs> Atari VCS is a console. Basically, it's uh, funded by Indiegogo, I think maybe two millions or something. Uh, and it's the first console to support blockchain games. Now, a few months back, they said... Animoca has exclusive rights to produce content for Atari when it comes to blockchain gaming, but they partnered again with another company. I don't actually recall right now which one is it, but it's um, it's all left to see what is going on to happen with Animoca and that other one company because it was supposed to be exclusive. Uh, so Atari, like I told you, Atari VCS will support blockchain games. It's the latest console by Atari. It's about three, three bucks, three hundred fifty bucks, something like this. Okay, land sale on Somnium Space. Secondary land offering first of November, eighteenth of December. So I had a, I had a quick look um, on the land here. They're pretty expensive, right? I mean, minimum bid one eth, one worth, one eth, thirty-five, twenty-nine eth, fifteen eth, nine nine point seven. It's expensive. In in the end of the day, uh, land gets value, right? But yeah, this one here is expensive. It's not for everyone. Okay, oh, also there are some uh, matching rewards. If you spend, for example, 100F on parcels, you get what? A gaming laptop, VR ready, and what is this? Matic tokens? 100F? How much does F cost right now? I mean, is it thir- 300 bucks? <laughs> No, it's a lot. Paris Saint Germain joins Sarare. I think this is the 100th team that's in Sarare. This is Sarare. It's a fantasy football game. 5 v- vs 5. I have some cards here. Let me show you. But I don't know where I have to go. Oh, my God. So these are these are the players I have. I can create a team and you know play. Uh, I have Antonio Milic. That's the one I know. I don't know the others. But okay, Valencia here. I see. Is this Porto? Yeah, that's Porto. West Ham. You can compose your team. Select your league play and rip the rewards battle races weekly duels okay monica here said the article uh the weekly duels you can try and play battle racers 
if you like the game it's on uh, Decentraland as you can see the link here goes to Decentraland um, okay there is a lot of information in this article that you wanna if you wanna check it so blockchain cuties season 4 is live um, let me see if, if I can log in ah that's the issue with with dapper when you use dapper you can't use metamask and that's the reason i don't use dapper well i installed it a few days ago again for the nba top shot but i can log in right now to blockchain cuties anyway uh you should guys try the blockchain cuties let me see if there's anything special here blockchain cuties season 4 is live featuring new season rates special adventures tournaments crafting and more you should you guys should check this out if you like it um okay let's move on to planetarium plans chain link integration okay so chain link basically is an oracle provider that ensures uh data off chain are accurate and let's see the apl applications can include access global rate and event progress from any lib planet based games Accessing characters information and commodity pricing from independent game networks triggering payment or asset exit after observing In-game events It's worth mentioning that nine chronicles has Whoa seven seventeen thousand seventy thousand players on waitlist Well, that's a good number uh, also we're exploring chainlinks VRF uh, the Six Dragons has also integrated VRF. Now let's go to Gala Games. I was talking before about Gala Games. Uh, this is the Town Star game. Look at all these players. A few months back, uh, you would see like this area only in the screen, the coasts with players. This is the first game. Uh, the second one is not yet out but there is some land sale taking place with 50 percent discount prices i think begin from 60 70 bucks and can go all the way up to i don't know half a million or something some things are very expensive okay let, let's place let's place my village somewhere uh this is a river we need a town okay let's place the town here name your town georgetown Okay, I'm just doing this so you can see. Uh, so basically, this is the game. It's like farm wheel, but it, it takes place uh, every week. You have forty gasoline. You can build stuff here. This is the inventory I have. I can place it here. You can buy storehouse, uh, windmill, uh, workers and anything else you need you can build roads and all that stuff when when your apothec is full you can sell see i have 11 wheat i can sell 10 of it it takes one gasoline and bye bye you sold it you have to be uh, a bit smart because you have only 40 gasoline to begin with and you need to build uh, a system that produces gasoline so your first move should be good in this game so town star is also on open sea uh, 23 23 ethereum traded in total you can see there are a lot of parts here um basically for the boat and all the, the, the farm boat and all that stuff and yeah that's all guys that's all for today thank you for uh viewing this video for another one week i hope to see you next week again please like subscribe and don't forget to mail me at george at egamers.io and tell me what you like what you don't like in this video uh let me become better thank you guys happy week have a great day